Hey guys, we are live on day five. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, today we have Psalms 34.5. In, in Psalms 34.5 it says, Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. I think that's a great verse, especially for right now. In Michigan we don't get a lot of sunshine, so we don't really know what that radiance means. But if you go outside and... You look up at the sun when it's shining and beating down on you. You can feel that radiance. You can feel that the sun beating down on you in the warmth. And that's similar to what God's presence is. When you're in his radiance, you're in his presence, and you you feel you know, that comfort and that peace within. And so in this verse, when it's saying, for those who look to him are radiant, then we want to be looking to him always. With everything that we have going on in our lives, we want to always be looking to the, looking to the Lord and having that radiance. And their faces shall never be ashamed. God took all of our shame. He took all of our sin. We don't have to carry that with us anymore. So if, if we're feeling shameful of anything in our lives, that shame is not of God. That shame is of Satan. And we want to make sure that we're giving that to God. That we're not trying to bear that sin and bear that shame ourselves. And I think for a lot of people it's difficult when you've had struggles in your life or if you're still struggling with something, you feel that shame. You don't feel like you're good enough to give that to God or even to go to God. And we have to understand that God has already saved us from that. God wants you to bring that to him. He doesn't want you to feel that shame. And this could be big things, this could be little things along the way. In our lives, if, if we're not giving everything to God, all those little things, they all add up to one big thing. And eventually, we get to the point where we're like, how did, how did we even get here? How did we get to this point in our lives where everything feels so low and we feel so far from God? So we have to make sure that we're always giving everything to God, we're always looking to Him, and He will give us that peace. The supplemental verse that we have is looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated on the right hand of the throne of God. That verse tells us that we need to give everything to the perfecter of our faith. When we give that stuff to him, all the things going on in our life, and we look to him for guidance, and we look to him for, for hope in our lives, that he is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. There's nothing that's too too big for him. There's nothing that's too small for him. So I'm going to pray tonight over this. Dear Father, Heavenly Father, we just look to you, Lord. We look to you with everything in our lives. We look to you for hope in this 2022 year. Lord, that our praying and fasting would bring big things for this year. We're trusting you for big things, Jesus. I pray for our church family and any of those people that are watching this tonight that they really just they really need to look to you, Lord. They need to give up that shame. They need to know that they are loved and that they have hope in you. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.